Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Today we've got some Run 8. I get asked every once in a while, what is Run 8? And that's, it's kind of hard to answer. Um, it's, it's not like Train Simulator. It's not like Train Sim World. It's, it's a railroad simulator. So today we're going to take a little look at it. Uh, maybe run, run some terrain or something. But it really simulates a railroad. It doesn't uh, hold your hand. There's not missions or you know XP or any of the gamey type stuff. Uh, there's a railroad and there's industries and there's dispatching. And the rest is kind of up to you. So I've got it set up to generate AI trains and then they run across the route. This guy's just getting up to speed. Coming around a tight curve here. And then uh, in the later versions, now in, in version 3 of Run 8, we have an auto dispatcher, OTTO, auto. They like their inside jokes at Run 8. <laughs> so it's actually dispatching trains right now. So they should, in theory, mostly just run across the railroad. You can see that says Run 8. There's various skins and things you can buy for the locos and the cars. If you don't have a particular skin, then it will be a default run eight skin. Everything else is the same functionality wise. See, we've got a mixed freight here coming by. So we're over here in California. I'm not super familiar with the California railroads, but let's take a quick look at the Depot Plus train tracker. Now the Depot is a community built around run eight. And they run a server where you can go play online with people. There's a public server. It's kind of, you know, do your own thing, be nice. Then there's the Depot Plus, which is more professional, and they actually run it like a railroad, and you have to go through a test uh, to be able to run on there. I've not done that. It takes more time than I'm willing to commit. Got too many other things going on. But it does show the various routes rather well. So we're on... We're somewhere on here. I forget where exactly we're at. But we're out here in California. <laughs> and it's it's real uh, scale. So this black line here is railroad. And I don't have all the info right up here. But when you buy the base run 8, you get like some of this. And then there's add-ons. And you can see it's tracking trains. All these little blue icons are AI. So this is a live update of the Depot Plus server. It's not what I'm playing right now. I'm just playing standalone. So you can see there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of railroad. That's all mainline. Goes down into LA, even if you've got the right expansions. Uh, there's some railroad up in here. Goes from Roseville out to Reno. And then over here on the East Coast, uh, we've got some Georgia, Florida stuff, which I don't have those routes. And we've got some uh, some New York. Albany to Syracuse, basically. So you can kind of get an idea of the scale of the simulator. And this will just be kind of a, a rambling video. Oops. <laughs> there we go. So you can see they're going around some tight curves. Going a little slow. And these trains will just run. I like it just for the ambiance. So how did we get to here? Let's uh, let's actually exit back out to the main menu. Go back here. So it has regions. So I've got the Southwest US region and there's various routes in there. And I believe the default comes with Mojave, Needles and Barstow, I think these three. And then I've added on this branch line as a separate purchase. Uh, so we're gonna just have this region if we had the, like the New York or, or uh, you know Florida, it would show up here. And we go select scenario. So scenario is a little, little different. Uh, if we go look at extra board, this is extra stuff that I've imported that people have made. Extra board just basically spawns you at a certain place in that world so once you're in a world you can use this to get somewhere quickly and then there's trains you can actually spawn in a train and again this is all work that somebody has done this is not part of the base game the base game is pretty bare so it does come with busy barstow january 2018 that's one of the 
canned worlds that comes with Run 8. And that's got cars scattered around various industries and terrain set up and that kind of thing. And what I started with was somebody on the uh, Depot forums has made a populated worlds where the uh, industries are all set up correctly with the right, like cars sitting on sidings and the yards have stuff in them with jobs and labeled. And so rather than start from scratch, I've started with that and I've made Kerbo's world. I hope that makes sense. So let's go back into Kerbo's world. So I've been playing Kerbo's world for a while. You may have, if you've been around the channel, you may have seen some streams over on Twitch. Uh, let's go back to free fly mode. So you can see it's still loading in everything. No, let's go back to default zoom. I think something broke. <laughs> Why is it not loading? That's funny. Kerbos World. Don't break on me in real time. Loading 233 trains. You better. Oh, I know what I did. I messed it up. That's why. I selected that accidentally. I don't, I don't want a route selection. I picked just that route to load. That's my mistake. I forgot about that. You can pick and it'll load just that specific route. We want all those routes. If you don't have one selected, it loads them all. That's why it was doing that. All right. I won't edit that out. You know my videos. We leave all the warts in. There we go. All right. Free fly. Now I'm using a, a rail driver, which is a USB controller with levers and buttons and stuff to drive the terrain. All right. So it's going to load that in. Now, if I want to go, so I've just been flying around here in free fly mode. So if I want to go somewhere specific, here we start heading up the, is it the Cajon Pass? I think maybe. Some terrain sitting there. Sometimes I just like to, uh, to rail fan. You can do that too. So I do need to go back in and say engage auto on all routes. So the dispatcher will start working. Now you can dispatch yourself. Let me bring up the dispatch screen. You can also just play this as a dispatcher. So you've got your dispatch board and all these trains out here, but I'm having auto do all that. And then I think is it this? Yeah, I've got other, there's the needle sub, various yards. So you can play dispatcher, uh, new in version three, like I said, is the automatic dispatcher, which is handy. So I wanna to go to load save. I'm going to extra board and here I can go somewhere. So let's go over to uh, Bakersfield Yard. And we'll just go here. Uh, load. So that's just a way to quickly teleport around the world, basically. And here we are. You see, we've got some stuff in the yard. I think all the trains are loaded. It's still loading scenery tiles out there. It's been a while since I've fired up Run 8, so I don't remember what I was doing. I tend to just kind of run uh, locals, have some fun that way. There's not much scenery uh, past the railroad, as you can see. And graphics are not its strong suit. The trains look pretty good, but the rest of it's kind of simplistic. But it's not about graphics. It's about uh, operation and railroading and all the systems working like they should. So we probably have a local here that's ready to go. Let me turn on car tags. Destination. There we go. So these are tagged to go a specific place. So we've got LS910J. I don't remember exactly where that goes. I'd have to get a, some outside information. But again, this world was set up by somebody to have the, everything tagged correctly. So if I click on that engine, I'm now in control. So I'm just going to do auto start. Well, now let's do it. Let's do it manually. 
we'll show off some of the stuff. So let's pop down here on the ground. And let's turn the car tags back off. We're going to be kind of unsafe and walk around here. So let's get our engine fired up, shall we? Some of the other locomotives you can start from the cab. Uh, these you cannot. But let's hop in the cab. Take a quick look around here. There's Bob. He's hanging out. Let's see, I want to go up and over. Nope, not that direction. This direction. There we go. So we're on start stop, so that's good. I think that's the only thing we need to do up here. Back to engineer view. Their fuel pump and our engine run switch on, and then we can't actually start the engine from in here, unfortunately. I think on this engine, you'd have to walk back here and do it from in there. That's not modeled in run eight. Uh, but if we pop back down to ground view, and I can say, isolation switch. Even though in the cab it said run, it's not. All right, f fair enough. So we should be able to open that up and do it if it was 100%. Okay, we'll put that in run. Let's get the other one fired up. You could just click this button and it would automatically start any locos attached to your train. You can see our handbrake is on. Yeah, put that in run. Let's go check all our uh, angle cocks and whatnot. Uh, do I have a flashlight? Is it F for flashlight? L for light? No, I thought there was a flashlight. I don't remember what it is. But you can see there's an, an angle cock here for the air hose. If I click on here, you see that's closed. You can actually move that. I just blew the, the brakes. It models all the airlines, stuff like that. Uh, if I hop back in, engineer view. I've actually blown the emergency by opening that air. So it, it thought it had a broken airline, so it put the train into emergency. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the, that in there. Uh, I need to turn my generator field switch on. Turn my headlight on. Uh, why is my throttle not responding? I apparently forgot to do something. Let's turn our gauge lights on. Yeah, that should be set. I wanted to pump up air faster. There, okay, so now it's flashing. So now we can release. So I get it out of emergency. Oh, there we go. My throttle is just way out of calibration. That's why it wasn't working. The rail driver is nice, but it's uh, it's a little goofy sometimes. So uh, this particular locomotive has a mechanical air pump, so we're gonna put it in notch three, let it pump up air. Back out on the ground, and like I said at the beginning, this is gonna be kind of a rambling video. It's not gonna be for everybody. You can hear this one is idling. So our, our MU setup is not correct. 
we bring that guy back to idle. So we need to get our MU hoses. So that's open, that's connected. See, our MU connection is not connected, so. We want this other loco hooked up. We can open the coupler pin and we can do stuff from here. Those are open. So we will be getting air back through the terrain. Which is good. Now if I throttle up. And I'm actually turn on this display so I can tell what my engine's doing. So we're in notch three. Our cubic feet per minute, I think is that. That's our airflow. So let's make sure we're getting the air pumped up good. And our air hose is connected, ankle cocks open. Now I need to go back to the back of my train, which I can do by pushing that button. And you can see this angle cock is closed. So we should be building up air pressure. Uh, let's go ahead and put an EOT on here. Then we'll be able to tell the brake pressure. And you can actually do the full like realistic brake tests. You can't see the brakes move, but there's a, a button to bring up a graph view of it. I don't know how to do a, all those realistic super things, so... <laughs> do the simplified version, but with the EOT on there now, we can hop back in the engineer view. And it says no air. Why do we have no air? No, nope, that's not what I want. Is it B? It says I have no air back there. Alright, well, we're going to have to troubleshoot. So, let's hop back to the ground. Whee! And we can actually visually check these ankle cocks. You can see that those are open. So let's just check the terrain. Those are open. Do we have an ankle cock or an air hose not connected somewhere? It's a pretty short terrain, so I'm just gonna do this manually. There is a cheat button you can push and it'll set all the stuff, all the ankle cocks for you appropriately. Stuff like that. So it's up to you how you want to play. What do we got here? Air hose up. And if you have an air leak, you'll actually hear it. Uh, the physics is really good, too. It just really simulates everything nicely. I'm probably doing something wrong. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've played and this is this is a deep deep simulators uh, probably people angrily typing in the comments right now <laughs> you're an idiot you didn't do the thing to the stuff so you can see it's uh, it's set up to automatically spawn AI on uh, intervals based on certain conditions so it'll just keep Generating trains, you know, coming from off railroad. No, this is all right. So there's, there's something going on here. What's your deal? All right, well, let's do a... No, not that button. Uh, engine HUD? There we go. Let's do like a 10-pound set. And how is that? You now that's traveling throughout. Why is the EOT saying? Attached. Oh! <laughs> <sighs> 
It's because I didn't. I don't have the angle cock turned on to the EOT. It looks like it's on though, so I wonder if that's a bug. So that's an air generator that powers the EOT. That's a bug. That should be changing that. Are these not animated anymore? No, that one works. Okay. I thought it was open because visually it was open. Oh yeah, you can derail and do re-railing stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, visually that's not changing. Okay, that must be a bug. All right, mystery solved. So back in the seat here. Now we can see we've got power to the EOT. Communication's okay. We've got 80 pounds on the back of the terrain. So let's do a release. Should see that come back up to break pressure. Looking good. All right, let's go ahead and do about a 15 pound set. That should be enough to hold us here. Lead off the loco brakes. And then I think, is it this button? There we go. All right, so now my hand brakes are off. So the air brakes are holding us. Why it keeps doing that? That's weird. Anyway, let's uh, let's try to get this thing moving. I don't know where we're supposed to go, so I'm just going to move it a little bit. I'm not going to do the whole job. That could take hours. I don't remember where 910J goes, but you can look that up. Uh, the depot... Uh, the depot community is great. They've got a ton of info. So we actually have to like interact with the world here to get these switches lined up. So we'll just pull forward up to there like we're getting ready to go. And then uh, this video has gone on long enough. <laughs> what is run eight? It's a, it's a lot is what it is. So I'm going to leave that up there so you can see the uh, air brake release throughout the terrain. Uh, but to get moving here, let's get our bow on. Get our forwarder. Our reversing lever and forward. Move down here so you can see there. So that beep means the last car is moving. The OT gives you a lot of good info. Turn our bell off. I'm using the rail driver to do all this stuff. You can actually interact with a lot of the things in here, but not everything. Uh, but it's got really good keyboard control. I'm gonna keep her kind of slow because we're just gonna stop right up here. this is a really short train I think it does a lot of pickups though so that's why it's got two engines you can end up with uh, a lot of terrain so we'll go ahead and do about a 10 pound set maybe 15 we're already down to 15 so we'll do 15 and we're not going to stop in time <laughs> Looks like we're a little heavier than I anticipated. I'm going to be fouling the switch. All 
All right, we've stopped. Back to neutral. So you can see I've I fouled this switch, which is no good. Terrain's a little heavier than I anticipated. Those cars may be full. If I turn car tags back on, which is not that button. Yeah, there we go. So we can see this tells tells me what industry it's going to, and that's just set in the car tag. And it's up to you to define you know, what that means, but the game will look for like industry tags in here to tell where you need to go and what you need to do. Uh, the green, I believe, means full. If I remember right. No, maybe green's empty, because... Yeah, green is empty, alright, because these have weight on them. 85 tons. So all these tanker cars are full, that's why we're so heavy. So I didn't even bring up, I think this is my switch list? There we go. So this is all automatic, based on the tags that are in my train. And then it knows based on the train number LS910J, which is configured in the uh, game. It knows what I need to pick up. So it looks like this heads out to Amber Chemical, chemical? Con Glass and uh, the refining plant. And then we've got these cars with us we need to set out and we've got those pickups there. So that's what this train would do if we were gonna do that, but we're not. This is kind of just a long rambling video what is Run 8? Well, it's a railroad simulator, and it's kind of up to you to decide what you want to do. And I've somehow turned on my train tags. And I do that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize it would switch to that. So you can see we're uh, 2470 on tons, 1200 foot long, 20 loads. No empties. You sure about that? Oh, this is considered a buffer car. That's why it's empty. But you have to have a buffer car between the tankers and the engines. Got it. There you go. So I could go out to that industry and drop off and set out, and then the industry processes things based on a configuration. So it would it would empty these cars, and then. Uh, they would be ready for pickup again. So it can cycle through the industry. You can run around like a railroad. Anywho, if you're still here, thanks for watching. It's been a little bit of Run 8. If you check my channel, there's some other Run 8 videos. There is a handful of scenarios that come with the game. Uh, one of them is called, I think, the Edison job. And if you look, I've got like a five-part series of working that job. So it's a good example of what you can do in the game. But it's really up to you. Uh, you can play single player, do your own thing. You can join a community, play online. It's got really good multiplayer support. Have fun with it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.